So I guess it's time to um, sort out where I'm going to put the intake air temperature sensor. Um, so I've got the open element version that's recommended for turbo applications because it can uh, recognize fast temperature changes. It's just a GM type 2, two wire sensor. And I've got the aluminium uh, 3 NPT bung or threaded boss. So I think I'm going to put the sensor uh, just here. It's really the only place I can put it. And I'd like to put it closer to the throttle body to get it into um, live, you know, live air, but there's not really no room. I've got the TPS here in the road. I was going to put it underneath, but I don't have enough room and I thought it might be a problem with the sensor filling up with oil. Uh, so I'm going to put it here. That's as close as a throttle body as I can get. So yes, I guess it's um, off with the intercooler and weld its boss on. So because there's not much protrusion of the sensor through the boss, I'm going to cut the boss off shorter so that the uh, the sensor actually protrudes into the tank and that should give it a, a better air reading. So yeah, I'll just cut the uh, threaded boss off a little bit so the sensor pro protrudes into the intercooler tank a bit. So that means this, uh, the sensor tip is going to be in the flow of air. So I guess I better weld it on. So there's the boss welded on. Uh, I've just painted the unit so it's just plugged with an earplug. And here's my uh, GM air temp sensor. Just screws in like that. Alright, so the inner cool is all modified and cleaned and everything. All the swarfs blown out of it and washed out, repainted, so it's time to refit it. Done. Now just got to put the new intake air temperature sensor in. So they have a bit of red, red thread sealant on the thread, but it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to 
put a bit of my old mate ultra grey on there. I'm going to force it into the bottom of the threads and as I screw that into my into my intercooler thread that's going to seal it. So here we go, he goes in here. See it forcing the sealant out there. Now we just tighten it up with a 19mm spanner. Like that. Cool. Now to wire it up. Alright, I've installed this two core cable for the IAT sensor. Put it through the car. I'll just run it through a spare grommet in the firewall. And I'll just come up through here. We've got our sensor there, so I'm just going to plug it in. Like that. I'll fit some zip ties later and tidy it all up and everything. Put a bit of conduit around here. Sweet. Let's see what kind of reading we got in Mega Square now. Alright, so now I've got the uh, intake air temperature sensor plugged in and we'll wire it up. I'm going to turn on the Mega Squirt and see how it reads in Tuna Studio. So I have to uh, change one of the gauges to intake air temp sense, air fuel ratio. Twenty-four degrees. That's about right. <clears throat> Took a coolant temp of twenty-nine, so that's pretty close. Okay, so that's all set up. So, tip that off the list. Done that. Done the sensor inputs here in the Tuner Studio.